This is the Smart Fastener tutorial. As you can see, I brought in a new part other than our weld table. This part, I feel, will show a better idea of the power of the Smart Fastener feature. We have multiple holes that are multiple sizes and multiple types. But as we go up here to click the Smart Fastener, we'll be able to quickly uh, fasten this together. Instead of selecting a face, since there's multiple holes on multiple faces, it understands that I can come over here and click on the Populate All. Now as I click on the Populate All, what SolidWorks is doing is it's going into its toolbox, it's finding some fasteners that will fit these particular sizes and these particular types of holes. And if there's particular ones that I want, I can assign them to, let's say I want a particular fastener type for this type hole, I can go into my toolbox and can configure my toolbox. And so what's nice is for every type, I can set my own fasteners to that type. But we'll just allow SolidWorks right now to use its default settings and see what it can come up with. This is a lot quicker than me manually going into the toolbox, finding a fastener and sticking it in every single hole. Uh, and as we can see the results, this is what SolidWorks decided to put in. For this particular hole and type it shows this fastener. For this hole and type it, it picked this fastener and so on and so forth. Now let's say that your customer doesn't particularly want this type of fastener in these holes. What you can do is you can come over to results, click on that group, and come down here to the fastener and right click in this box and do change fastener type. and the customer actually wants a binding head screw to be in that spot so you click on that and hit OK. It will simultaneously update each one of those uh, holes to that particular type. And there we have that. Now it's a lot easier also to put bolts on the end of these fasteners as well. We'll see that down below here as I rotate the part there are no nuts on these on these bolts so what I can do is I can scroll down here and in the results section and find those particular bolts and go to this bottom stack feature click add to bottom stack and let's put a hex nut on those bolts what it will do is it will bring those those nuts and put it on those bolts and automatically mate them and as you can see, you remember how long it took me just to mate just one and how long it would take you to mate all of them. This feature goes a lot faster. And this is a, a very useful tool in any type of fasting that you want. And I, ho I hope that this will be of great benefit to you and thanks for watching the video.